Lyme disease is a tick-borne illness caused by the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi, and it can cause symptoms and illness of the skin, heart, joints, or neurologic system. So it's important for it to be detected early and treated with antibiotics so that people do not get ill. Lyme disease is primarily focused in the Northeast, the Upper Midwest, and regions of the Pacific Northwest. You can contract it in other parts of the country, but those are the most um, endemic areas. By far, the most common seasons to develop Lyme disease are spring, summer, and fall. There are a lot of things that you can do to prevent um, getting bitten by a tick, um, ranging from avoiding uh, tick areas such as the brush, the um, uh, tall grasses, or um, a forest with lots of leaf litter. Um, you can wear long sleeve and long pants with your pants tucked into your socks to prevent Lyme disease or a tick bite. You can spray something called permethrin on your clothes to keep a uh, tick from biting you, or you can use DEET, which is in m many <clears throat> repellents, which can um, tend to repel ticks from biting you. Um, you should wear light-colored clothing if you can, so that you can see a tick if it does bite you. Doing a tick check promptly after exposure to potential tick bites or tick areas is very important. And this should be done by um, completely removing your clothes, throwing it into the dryer, putting the dryer on high for 10 minutes. That will kill the ticks on your clothes. And then going into the bathroom and doing a full body tick check. When you do a full body tick check, you should not only look for ticks, which can be as small as a poppy seed, you should feel um, your arms and legs and other uh, areas that are potentially uh, a, a region that a tick may have bitten you on, and feel for a poppy seed-like um, feeling, and then look and see if that um, is a tick. So the proper technique for removing a tick if it has bit, bitten you um, is to take a fine-tooth tweezer, um, place the tweezer right at the um, entry point of the tick, grasp a hold and pull straight out. Um, if you don't get all of the tick out, you can try once, one or two more times, but usually most of the tick comes out once you grab it with the tweezer. Um, if you know that the tick has been on you for less than 24 hours, then you can feel relatively confident that you will not contract Lyme disease or another tick-borne illness. Since it takes a minimum of 24 hours of attachment for the tick to transmit the bacteria. Overwhelmingly, the, the rash of Lyme disease is characterized by the fact that it spreads. So if you have a red ring-like rash that spreads, it's very likely that it is Lyme disease. If you don't develop a rash from Lyme disease, you can develop meningitis or neuritis, such as Bell's palsy, which is um, facial paralysis. You can develop a um, Lyme arthritis, which is in the beginning a migra migratory joint pain and joint swelling. Unfortunately, Lyme disease can also cause cardiac abnormalities, most likely rhythm difficulties in the heart, such as heart block, um, or dizziness with palpitations or a slow heart. Any of these symptoms of Lyme should um, be evaluated by a doctor as soon as possible so you can get treatment. Lyme disease can be treated with antibiotics, and depending on whether it is an early rash, for example, or a cardiac joint or neurological manifestation. Um, it is treated with antibiotics of several weeks duration by mouth 
or several weeks duration intravenously.